Any indication of foul play on the body of Mr. Jackson? And the Los Angeles Police Department has requested that a security hold be placed on the investigation of Mr. Jackson so there's an extremely limited amount of information that we will be able to discuss about the case. I have copies of our press release available. Besides toxicology, can you talk about the other additional tests? Uh, the other additional test that I'm aware of is uh, neuropathology and uh, pulmonary. Has the family received the body yet? No, they have not. When will that happen? I do not know. How are the family doing? You were with the family this morning. How are they doing? Pardon? How are the family doing? How are they coping? I, I'm not aware of, of any of that information regarding the family. How long did the autopsy take? Approximately three hours. Is that common? Pardon? Is that common? That is not uncommon. And why were there several delays in releasing what you just Why were there several delays? Yes. It was just simply a matter of getting everybody together and the time involved in handling uh, pressing queries that we've been handling. I've been a little busy. Notify the family? Pardon? Who notified the family? Was it the coroner himself? Uh, the coroner, uh, the assistant chief, Ed Winner, who is out with the uh, family now. Were there any the internal indicators of illness or abnormality? No. When will the family like to take the body and how long is it going to take that process? What was the question? How long is it going to take for the body to be released? It's up to the family to make a mortuary selection. Once that decision's been made, uh, the body is available for release. But are they free to do that at any time from you? They're free to do that at this time? Yes. And they have not chosen a mortuary at this time? Not to my knowledge. Is it unusual that an autopsy performs so quickly? Uh, no. It is not unusual for that kind of a turnaround. Well, you're still waiting, obviously, for the toxicology test. Is it your knowledge that he had drugs administered to him before his death? Well, we know he was taking some prescription medications. Can you say what type? No. And did he have something administered to him immediately before his death? I can't comment on that. Can you comment on if those drugs affected what happened to him ultimately? What's that? If those drugs affected him ultimately? I can't comment on that. Is that something that will come out in the toxicology test? That'll all be in the final autopsy report when it's available for release. Was there any controversy about the death certificate signature by the doctor that was there? Or? Uh, no. The uh, problem with the, uh, the death certificate is there was no doctor to sign a death certificate, which then requires that the coroner become involved because if there is no doctor to sign a death certificate, then it falls to the coroner to do that function. So that was that was why we became involved in the first place. Had he had he been under the care of a doctor and that doctor been willing to sign a death certificate, the coroner would not have become involved. But when he was in kind of he went into his coma at the hospital, correct? Pardon? He went into his coma at the hospital. That the time of death was until after that after he was pronounced dead at the hospital, right? He was pronounced in the emergency room at the hospital, yes. Pardon? Did Michael Jackson use the same drug um, to excuse later? I can't comment on any specific drugs that Mr. Jackson may have been prescribed or used. Can I just be clear in understanding? You're saying there's, there's no suspicious um, implication here about how he died or anything? You have no suspicion? Not at this point, no. Was there any other abnormalities in the body? No, there was not. Those are just standard evaluations. The autopsy process is a rule out procedure, and you just want to make sure that all of the uh, systems in the body are functioning uh, normally. How much do you weigh? I don't have that information. Is there any injection marks? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. I couldn't comment on if there were. And is there any conversation as to the doctor that was present at the time in his home? That doctor that would have been available to talk to anyone in the office? I Carter's can't office? comment on that. Have you been able to talk to your personal physician? Pardon? Uh, not any more than we would normally do, no. Can you talk about the nature of the meeting between Mr. Winter and uh, uh, 
Uh, other than he's there just simply to communicate uh, our information as the coroner to the family, as the legal next of kin, that's pretty much his responsibility. Could you just go over again what the oh. next stage is for the family in terms of claiming the body? Can you just go over that again for me? As far as the next of kin claiming yeah. the body? Yeah. All they simply have to do is select a private mortuary to handle the services and then uh, uh, the uh, mortuary will uh, present a document to us that's signed by the family and on the basis of that document we will release the remains to them and they will take it to their facility and prepare him for whatever funeral services the family has selected. When is the earliest he would be his body can be released? Uh, it's available for release now. Uh, we start releasing bodies officially at 6 p.m. this evening. Uh, the time of death is what was established by the hospital in the emergency room. There's no, would there be an indication if he died much prior to that time? No, the time of death will remain what it was in the hospital emergency room pronounced by a physician. What time was the autopsy? Autopsy was finished at 3? 3 o'clock? Uh, no, no. The, uh, uh, 1 o'clock. The autopsy was finished at 1 o'clock. Who else was present? Pardon? I can't comment on the types of medications. Who else was present beside the ME? Uh, the police detective. Just the police detective, only one? I believe just one detective, yes. And no family members? No family members would have been allowed in the autopsy room. And is the family asking for a separate autopsy? Not to my knowledge. I'm not aware of any requests yet. Have you been able to talk to the personal physician that you wanted to talk to? We have not spoken with any physician associated with Mr. Jackson or any other member of the family. I don't know. Why did the LAPD place the security They have an investigation that is ongoing, and uh, they would like that investigation to proceed without uh, any further interference. I can't move. Mr. Harvey, any indication of uh, usage of uh, Demerol, the painkiller? I can't comment on any specific drugs until the completion of the toxicology uh -huh. testing. Sir, could you clarify what you mean when you say you start releasing bodies at 6? Does that mean... In general, right now, that is our current uh, body release hours, 6 p.m. until 12 midnight. So it would not be released before 6, but it doesn't necessarily be released right after 6, that's pending the Correct. It's up to the mortuary to make those release arrangements. Are there any deadline that the family does? The family has to take the position of the body by a certain time midnight tonight, and they can stay overnight? It can stay overnight. That's up to them entirely? Correct. And the private mortuary. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You had Craig Harvey from the Los Angeles uh, County hole, make a hole. Coroner's yeah. Office talking about uh, I, I do have a card. Yes. Yeah. And who is the gentleman that we were just hearing from? Is that his name? The community chief. Okay, thank you. Yeah, do we have Harvey. Yeah, Craig. Thank you.